we're given here that these two planes are parallel. We're given that AC and DB intersected at F. Why are they telling us that they intersect at F? Isn't that obvious? What do you mean? <coughs> What's the other possibility that they intersect at F? They intersect at some other point? The other possibility is that they don't intersect. If you take a look at these strings that we've got hanging here. Well, because they could be like not. To Emma, Emma, do these look like they intersect? Uh, yeah. Do they? No. <laughs> right? For, and actually, for a lot of you, they look like they intersect. And in this picture, you know, we have no depth perception, we have nothing. They actually have to tell us that they intersect. Otherwise, we can't assume that they intersect. These intersect, but these, and it looks virtually the same, don't intersect. So that's why they're telling you, because it might not. Who can help us out? Well, and also we're given that these are congruent. Who can help us out now? What? If you use the fact that they intersect, you have to write it. Who can, who can share a strategy with us? Lauren? Okay, pause right there. Thumbs up if you see why A, B, C, D is a plane. Quickly on your sheet, write the four ways of proving a plane. Four ways of proving a plane. Not a parallelogram, a plane. <laughs> Alright, uh, four ways of proving a plane. If you have intersecting lines, that's a plane. If you have parallel lines, that's a plane. If you have line and a point, that's a plane. If you have three points, that's a plane. Lauren, which one of those is satisfied? Intersecting lines. We have intersecting lines. That means we have a plane. For an example, if these are not intersecting, there's no plane that both of these strings are on. The plane would have to warp shape in order to contain both of these. I can't take my whiteboard and have it have the both of these lines be on it no matter how I arrange it. They'd have to change. If they're intersecting, it's a whole different story. If they're intersecting, they're on the same plane. That's the plane right there. So we know it's a plane. What? It means if you've got so like a line is like this string. A line itself is not enough to determine a plane. There are several planes on this line. This is a plane, this is a plane, this is a plane. But if you're given a point in space as well, it's locked in. This is the plane determined by that line and this point. You need both, yeah? Um, so It'd be called plane A, B, C, D. Okay. Yeah. Now, Lauren, why do you care that this is a plane? <coughs> Say that one more time. And this is, the, this is the crux of this problem. What we do, what we have when a plane intersects parallel planes. This is a plane. It's intersecting E and G, both of which are parallel. If a plane intersects parallel planes, an example of parallel planes, the ceiling and the floor. 
an example of a plane that intersects them, this front wall. This front wall is the plane that intersects the ceiling and the floor. The lines of intersection here, A, B, and D, C, where the, the planes intersect, so that edge up there and this edge down here, those lines are going to be parallel. The lines of intersection of a plane intersecting parallel planes are parallel. It's a big, big new idea here. And let's actually write it out. If a plane, in this case it was A, B, C, D, intersects parallel planes, in this case E and G, then the lines of intersection In this case, A, B, and D, C are parallel. We take a look at the two points on the ceiling that connect these strings. That line, which is going diagonally across that square tile, that's one of the lines. If this were not a plane, say these two lines are not parallel, this is not going to be a plane. They're not intersecting, they're not parallel. The line connecting on the ground from this point to this point is going this way. The line connecting those two points is going that way. Those are not parallel. In order for the lines of intersection to be parallel, it needs to be one slice. It needs to be a, a plane. It can't be something else. Yeah? They don't have to visibly affect you, right? But here's the issue. You don't know if these lines are parallel unless it's a plane. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and this is an incredibly important point. You do not know that AB is parallel to DC until you know it's a plane. Until you know it's a plane. Otherwise, it might just be skew lines. One going this way, one going this way. These lines never intersect, but they're also not parallel. Parallel, they got to be on the same plane. These lines are skew. These lines are parallel. If you don't have a plane, you might just have skew lines. <coughs> Questions on why we know that these are parallel? Lauren, how does it help you with the proof? A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, and how do you know that? Yeah, the reason is one pair of sides parallel and congruent then we have a parallelogram why do you get a parallelogram because in a parallelogram then the diagonals bisect each other <coughs> 